Canada is a country that is obviously known to the world, but it's still kind of in this smaller niche. Toronto is the city where we all embrace different cultures, different food. We have talent here. There's good basketball here. Aaron Best with the pump fake step to Best. Out here, it feels fresh, it feels new, it feels hip, it's cool. There's no place I'd rather be as a basketball fan. I'm Gianna Hearn, G League host and reporter. In this series, I travel to different markets and give you an inside look at the G like you've never seen before. Gatorade presents Next Up. I transitioned from being the sideline reporter, then being an anchor locally, to now really being the face of the G League, something I'm really proud to do. I'm Gianna Hearn, joined by the NBA G League president, Sharif Abdul-Rahim. Welcome. Gianna, thank you for having me. They wanted to marry my name, Gianna. It's your girl, G, with the G League. It was a perfect fit. Now we're checking out the greater Toronto area, which is an area I've never been to. Woo, it's cold, it's cold. The Raptors 905 is an important organization to cover because they're the first team outside of an American organization to be a part of the NBA G League. Really showcasing the G League's goal of global branding I think is important because Canada wants to make a statement as a basketball community and so far since uh, I've seen it, it has. We want to win here in Toronto and we will win in Toronto. World tenth, stars going through my head. We're confident, Canada. We brought it home, baby. We brought it home. What I like about sports is that there's people behind sports. My name is Courtney Charles. My name is Aaron Best. My name is Tammy Sutton Brown. My name is Chad Sanders. I'm Nico. And when you find people, you find culture, you find food, you find music, you find individuality. And I think that's what we need to showcase in the G League. Growing up, you get to see like all different kinds of cultures. Everybody is here. It's a melting pot, you know. Um, Toronto's a melting pot. I think what's so special about Toronto is that everyone loves each other. The Greater Toronto Area, often referred to as the GTA, is made up of the City of Toronto and other regional municipalities. The Raptors 905 actually play in Mississauga, which is a suburb about 30 minutes outside of the city. It's a great cultured city as well. It actually has a lot of uh, prominence that Toronto has. We're only about 37 million maybe across the board, but within those pockets, we're only about 50% Canadian. So if you're only 50% Canadian, you've got a lot of people that you can see the diversity in and the difference in. This is a city full of culture, food, art, music, but basketball is what it's all centered around. The Raptors have been one of the main reasons why the growth of basketball has taken off. You had your Vince Carters come in, um, you've had Tracy McGrady come in, and they've essentially changed the game when it comes to Canada. For me personally, Vince Carter played a, a huge part in, in the love of the game. Uh, I used to watch all the games. I wanted to do all the dunks and all the things that he was doing, and he just made the game seem so, like, so much fun. That was a crazy time and a great time for us as far as growing the game here. It kind of inspired all of us young kids at that time to kind of be whoever we wanted to be. Fred now turns, fires, got it. He has the right side, step back, three-pointer, got it. You might think you don't belong because of what you look like, or where you come from. But don't wait to see someone else do it first. Want doesn't look like anything, and it can't come from anywhere, but within.
Yeah, basketball in Toronto has definitely grown um, over, I would say, the last 10, 15 years. I think uh, the growth of the game in Canada has been, you know, largely in part to just seeing opportunities and people taking up advantage of opportunities. When I was growing up, we didn't have the amount of opportunities that they do now. But now you have kids coming out of high school, getting multiple offers um, to go on and play at the next level. But there's players over here, there's talent over here also. And I think now we have like the second most uh, outside of America of players in the NBA. Andrew Wiggins being an all-star this year, for example. Delano being Canadian and drafted by uh, the Raptors. Having guys like Aaron play for the 905 and guys like Dwayne Notice that was here previously, I think it's important because, again, it's, it, all, it all stems from inspiration and, and seeing that kid being inspired. And um, winning the championship especially a couple of years back was huge. And we are the NBA 2019 Champions of the World. Um, it started with, with 905 uh, winning the first championship. But the Raptors championship, I mean, you just, you see basketball taking off around the country. I think now it's, it's caught on like a fever kind of, like everybody's playing basketball you know, from the top ranks to all the way to like the recreational leagues, like everybody is playing and everybody wants to be a part of it. What impressed me most was how big basketball is outside of just the Raptors and 905. Influential community members like OVO also contribute to opportunities so that everyone can play the game. When I was younger, I was always inspired by going to these tournaments, by the crowd, the energy, and I just wanted to recreate that for the community. OVO Bounce was amazing. It was, you know, intense competition. I just kind of wanted to create that opportunity for that young Nico, that 16-year-old Nico, to come and watch NBA talent play against their local pros. It's like a week where, you know, everybody comes down to the city and, and surrounds themselves with the game of basketball, and it's a great atmosphere. These types of environments are only continue to grow and you'll see more and more like successful people you know, come out of the city and more and more stories of, of people succeeding. OVO and the basketball world are kind of like intertwined. Uh, obviously, uh, Nico and Drake play like a huge part of that. Uh, they, they've been really involved in cultivating that atmosphere for you know, people in the city. Basketball and entertainment is kind of like synonymous, you know? And that's kind of the reason why the Raptors are so successful with a guy like Drake you know, he's done amazing things for the Raptors organization, obviously. So, you know, if you see a company like OVO, um, we've all grew up with each other, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, we care about Toronto so much is that where we would do anything to, to help grow, you know, the city. That's just kind of how we operate. And I think that's how, how the Raptors and the 905 operates as well. They're so involved in the communities that you really get that feel. It means a lot to give back to the community. Um, it's always good to, you know, think about someone other than yourself. So we're out at the playground at office hours right now. It's pretty much like a community basketball, just hang out, get together, play some ball. Uh, my name is RJ Williams uh, from Mega City Basketball. I'm out here helping out with the office hours event. Office hours created that element of family and created just like, you know, all friends just come out and hoop. That's something really unique about the G League is teams really being a part of their community. We have the Raptors 905 guys coming out here to support. The you know, they're, they're here like trying to lay foundation with the community as well. We're in a place where you're not just surrounded by a city, you're, you're surrounded by a country. Here, everything is tied together. I mean, they're playing OVO music. They got Drake on replay out here, but then you have the Raptors, you have the kids. Everybody's here, everyone's represented. It's just like that. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It, it speaks for itself. And I think that's kind of really what's important here is to continue not only spreading our brand, but to spread the game. You have got to come to Toronto if you want to see what basketball is all about. Uh, you should be paying attention to this franchise and the greater Toronto area as a whole because we have talent here. Like I said, never been here before, but I'm blown away just by the city, the community, and what this city is doing around basketball. I think the sky's the limit, honestly.